If you're a jig fisherman, there's a pretty good chance that you're using stinger hooks to help you catch more fish. It doesn't matter what species you're after, you could be targeting walleye or maybe lake trout, stinger hooks put more fish in the boat. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you some custom tricks for putting your own stinger hooks together that are going to help you put more fish in the boat. To get started, you're going to need some basic components. Of course, you're going to need hooks. Um, we recommend Eagle Claw hooks that you're going to need for walleyes. You're going to need sizes of 10, um, 8s, and maybe even some 6s. If you go to a larger species, like lake trout, you're going to probably want to have some sixes, some eights, and maybe even some number fours. You're also going to need line sleeves, and the size I'm going to recommend is 47 thousandths. The reason for that is that 47 thousandths is going to be ideally suited to 20 pound test fluorocarbon, and that's what we're going to use as our main line. And then you're also going to need a pair of needle nose pliers to help crimp down the crimps, and you're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut the fluorocarbon. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out here by just cutting myself a length of fluorocarbon about 10 inches long is about perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and tie on the very end of it an overhand knot, a granny knot if you will. And I'm going to go through twice here. And the reason I'm going to do that is I want to create a knot that's fairly large in diameter. And I'm just going to pull it up tight. That knot is going to be a stopper. Okay, once I have that on place, I can reach down here and grab one of these sleeves. Now they're tiny, so they're hard to get a hold of, but I'm going to run the line through the sleeve all the way down to the knot. It'll stop at the knot, and then I'm going to run it back through the sleeve a second time. Looking good. Pull that up. Now what I've done is I've created a little loop. Now if I grab my jig here, you can, I can help illustrate a little bit. I can place that loop over the jig and I can pull it up. That's what's going to cinch the stinger hook actually onto the jig. All right, so that part is done now. I'll loosen that up just a little bit. Now the second step here, or the next step, is it's going to be time to put the hook on. So I need another sleeve. So I'm going to grab a sleeve, I'm going to slide it on the line. There she goes. And then I'm going to pick one of my treble hooks here, and I'm going to slide the line through the treble hook. And then I'm going to slide the line back through the sleeve again. Now what I have is the sleeves on both ends and connected to the treble hook, but the length of the stinger is not right here. So what I want to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put my jig on here just to help me a little bit. And then I'm going to start controlling the length of the stinger by pulling up the line here. And the beauty of this method is that I can get this stinger to be exactly the length that I want it. In this case, I'm going to go for about three inches and pull the sleeve up nice and tight. And then I'm going to grab my pliers and I'm just going to crimp on that sleeve squeeze it down so it can't move. And the only sleeve that you crimp is the one that's actually on the stinger hook itself. The only thing I have to do now to clean it up a little bit is get my scissors and trim that tag ends out. There's one, there's another, and what I have is a stinger on the jig that's about three inches long. And if I want, I can open up and create a little loop like so, so I can take the stinger off or I can put it back on. The beauty of that is every time I have to bait the hook, I can take the stinger off, I can put the bait on, then I can put the stinger on top of it. The beauty of that is you can use it with light bait, you can also use it with soft plastics. One of the other things you need to understand about stinger hooks is how you're going to use them as far as are you going to stick them into your plastic or stick them into your minnow you might be fishing with, or are you going to let them free dangle? Now there's two theories of thought here. Historically, most people would suggest that if you take the stinger hook and put it in the plastic or put it in the minnow, that that's going to be your better option. But experience has taught us that by leaving the stinger hook just dangling tends to work a little bit better. And the reason for that is that when the fish eats the presentation, the lightest part of the presentation is going to go right into their mouth. Well, if the stinger hook is not hooked to the plastic or if it's not hooked to the minnow, zoom, it goes right in the fish's mouth and you'll catch that fish. So let that stinger hook dangle and you'll catch more walleyes and lake trout.